Seahawks versus B. Today is Sunday, uh, I want to say January 17th. Monday. Oh, it's Monday. <laughs> Not even the right day. It's Monday, January 18th, Martin Luther King Day. So Scott's off, the kids are off, and we're going for a drive to, where is it? What's it called? Do we know where we're going? You don't know where we're going here. <laughs> Scott's just being Scott. You know where we're going, you're just not sharing it. <laughs> just tell us where we're going. I don't want to be on you're not on my thing. I'm not showing I don't you. Want my can you just tell me where we're? Can you sign it to me? Tell me where we're going. It's called Alakai. Alakai, and it's a beach. Although I think the girls are very disappointed because it's not what they think of as a beach. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go check that out and see what it's like. First, we gotta go get a car wash. Very. Please insert cash or card with a magnetic strip up. You think that's a puffin? That's a it's not a puffin. It's not a loon. It's a trash. <laughs> it's not a trash. Oh, that was plastic. Look, it just dove down. Did you see? Oh, I missed it. I am actually filming wood now. <laughs> see the silhouette of it. We're gonna go there someday, but probably in the summer when it's nice. Ooh, waves. Uh, January 19th. I'm thrown off because it's Tuesday now and it just makes, I find the week goes longer. When it's, when Monday's a holiday, I always find the week is long. Anywho, I just want to show you guys, I have some more cards to show you. This one came through. Um, I sent it to someone in Quebec and it came back because they had moved. But I looked at it and I'm like, oh my god, that's so weird. I sent like the same kind of cards out that I realized it was <laughs> my own card. Um, and Miss Aletta, I did get your card. Um, Aletta lives in Australia. Thank you for a beautiful Christmas card. Cute little tree in the pot there. And she says, wishing you all a happy and healthy 2016. God bless and love from Aletta. And she said, P.S. Thank you so much, Tanya, for your beautiful Christmas card. You're welcome, Miss Aletta. Thank you for sending one back to me. And then we have another person in Australia. Got all the Aussies writing in. This is Tracy, and she is in Dingy, um, Australia. And she made this card. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That's sweet. It says Joy little vellum there with all the little stitchy marks on it and she said oh look and it has joy and the little 
present inside. She says, Dear Tanyan family, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful Happy New Year. May all your dreams for the coming year be fulfilled. Looking forward to all your videos next year. You do a wonderful job. Take care, Tracy. Your subby from Oz. Thank you, Miss Tracy. So pretty. My cute. Australia. That is so cool. And then we have Miss Francine in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Oh, my dad, after, after my other video, and I'm like, I don't know where half of the states are, he sent me <laughs> this little chart so I would know all the states. Thank you, Father. <laughs> this is from uh, Miss Francine, and she has her card there. It's so cute. It's like all little strips of paper. Isn't that cute? Adorable. She's got a little froggy on the back. And she says, Hi Tanya, I was so happy uh, to see your card in the mail. Hope that 2016 in Seattle will be all you want and more. We'll follow your adventures. So sweet. Thank you so much for that. Yes, we went on a little adventure there yesterday. You saw to Elkai, Elkai Beach. <laughs> I drove by the beach and the kids are like, Oh, that's not a beach. Um, it's a little different here. One of you wrote into, um, was it Facebook or Instagram and said, it's funny to see you guys at the beach with jackets on. We were freezing. We had to go back to the car. It was, I think it was about 50 degrees, but I think it was a little cooler by the water. But people were like jogging and out in t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> it was crazy. Um, this card is from Miss Gloria in Atoka, Tennessee. Isn't that pretty? little window there with the snow on it. So cute. Handmade by Miss Gloria. And she said, Tanya, Merry Christmas. We wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas. Hugs from Gloria. Isn't that pretty? Thank you so much, Gloria. So I'll go down. I might go today, actually. Um, I have to go get the kids. Oh, I have to go soon. See, it's hard when I go get the kids because then if I take them somewhere afterwards, we drive by places like McDonald's and Krispy Kreme and it's just not good for me. So I might have to go before I go get the kids. If not, I'll go tomorrow and I'll go down to the mail and see if there's any more postcards coming through. Um, I've been drawing today. Uh, I put some more Harry Potter um, drawings on Redbubble. I have Snape and I have um, Voldemort up there now. Uh, my Mickey stuff. God, they, they took it down again. I had my Disney castle and it looks like they've pulled that one out of there. And it just says just because of complaints they've received from the Disney company before. But how am I ever going to get discovered by Disney if I don't put my drawings up? <laughs> oh my God, I would love to work for Disney. Anyway, um, but in any capacity, like I would totally dress up like, well, no, I can't be Snow White because Mariel wants to be Snow White. Her and I totally want to be in a parade. <laughs> And just dress up and just be princesses but she's already called Snow White so she's very Snow Whiteish. Um, so I don't know what I could be I could be dopey <laughs> I just put that in there because I know that's uh, what Scott would say um but yeah we've always wanted to dance and sing in the in the three o'clock parade <laughs> but uh, no I would love to have been um, like a computer animator or something oh I love it but um, yeah not gonna happen And today is Wednesday, January 20th. I'm here in the car with Kerrigan. She's hiding right now. <laughs> um, we're at her school, but it's not time to go in yet. And because Bryn gets dropped off first and likes to be at school half an hour before the bell rings, that leaves Kerrigan and I sitting in the car listening to the radio. So we thought we would film a video. What would you like to talk about, Kerrigan? How'd you do in math yesterday? She got an A in math yesterday. And what about health? An A. Very good. So you're doing good in school. Yeah. Yeah. You like your school? Yeah. You just hate the idea of school? Yeah. Okay. I could homeschool you. <laughs> You'd have to do math by yourself. We could do science experiments. <laughs> Which would just be classed under cleaning your room. Oh, you know what I saw on Facebook today? Halifax might be getting Ikea. Is that exciting? Uh, I don't live in Canada. <laughs> no, I know you don't live in Canada, but be happy for Annette. Because she does. Yeah, apparently the mayor of uh, Halifax is having a meeting with the president of Ikea. 
So that's exciting. I need to buy soy milk. I need to buy oranges, green pepper, and sour cream. Now, if I'm buying green pepper and sour cream, what would that mean for dinner? <gasps> oh, I know. Oh, are you excited? What's mommy making for dinner? <laughs> taco ring. She loves taco ring. I don't know why you love taco ring. You're not even a meat eater. It's the only time you eat meat. It's really weird. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about tomorrow's weigh-in. I don't think I've done well this week. And I need to get a little mini frying pan at um, Home Goods, so we're gonna go there. So I'll bring you with me. We'll go do that. And then, what else are we gonna do? I might go to Ikea this week, I don't know. Um, Scott wants plastic dishes. We got rid of all our plastic dishes when we moved and he wants more. So I think I'll just go get those little kids plastic dishes. He just, he loves plastic. Are we excited about Comic-Con, Kerrigan, or what? Yes. Yes, we're so excited. We're going in April. Yeah. Was it April 10th we're going? No idea. Yeah, I think so. Woo! So excited. It's going to be um, Regina and, who's the Robin other guy? Hood. Robin Hood from Once Upon a Time. Huge fans. We're still holding out that Hook's going to show up. So yeah, so we're very excited. And then there's gonna be like comic book artists and stuff. And are we dressing up, Kerrigan? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna, I was thought about being um, Amy from Big Bang Theory. Just do the clip of my hair. <laughs> Frumpy clothes. I don't even have to buy anything. Oh, we can go now. Yeah. All right, we're going. I'll take you to uh, Home Goods with me. Okay, say bye. Bye. <laughs> pan. How adorable is that? Um, Bryn has this whole egg contraption thing that uh, she got for Christmas and you put your English muffin and all your stuff in there but I just like the simple little frying pan. Um, I'm just going to talk about Weight Watchers for a couple minutes so if you're sick of hearing me talk about it uh, just forward past this part I apologize but I have had people asking me about it and if it's been hard and they're on the fence and they're thinking about it. Um, one of you asked if the first week was hard. I didn't find the first week too hard, and I had done it before. I had done Weight Watchers before. Um, I found the first day hard because I went in and I signed up and I came home from my meeting and I was all pumped up, and then I looked in the pantry when I got home. And I was very tempted by the food in the pantry and I knew I couldn't do it. So the pantry looked very similar to what it looks like now. And of course, living here in America, you can buy chips that are the size of toddlers. So. Um, when I came up to the pantry and I was like, oh my god, like what can I eat? So I'll just show you on my app here. Here's my Weight Watchers app. So, so far today I've used five points. I have 25 left and I've had my uh, Goline cereal, which is four points. And I only have like three eighths of a cup of soy milk. I don't have a lot of milk, just enough to sort of make the cereal wet. So that was one point. I have 30 left over for my week. Um, but up here you see this little barcode, so you just hit the barcode and then you can see it on here. So you just scan, just pick an item and scan it. So that's what I did that first day and I just went through the pantry um, and scanned what we had. So you just hold it over the little um, USB code there 
and then here it is here. So it says it's the organic yellow tortilla corn chips and they're four points for 14 chips. So these were all snacks that I later um, went out and bought because I just couldn't um, eat the stuff that we had here in the cupboard. So then I just write on them with marker. So I circled four, so I can have four points. For, it's four points for 14 chips. And I did the same with these, the cinnamon sugar things. It's four points and you can have 20 of them um, and so on and so on. I didn't bother with these because I'm just trying to stay away from stuff like that. Um, but I am allowed to look at my, look at my phone cover. Look at, you got to see it. It's my lock screen. Hello. Once upon a time. Okay. Um, <laughs> Let me just break into my phone here. So yeah, so if I wanted to have those, you just go down here and you go track and it take it took the points off and it's how much I added, how many I have left and you'll see here that's the yellow corn chips. Now I can go in to those corn chips and say I didn't eat all 14. I went in and I only had, say I had eight of them. It'll change your points to two and I can just do update and it'll adjust it on your thing. You can even go in and go, no, I didn't end up having it and just remove it and it'll reset everything back. Okay, so how easy and fun is that? It's like a little video game. <laughs> oh, speaking of video games, I've got to show you um, an app on my phone. You're going to hate me for this one, but it's the most addictive little game. What I like about it, it's not like, oh, you died and you have to wait like half an hour before you play again. <laughs> I was falling asleep and I found this game. Uh, the other night. I can't do it. It's so hard. But it's called, where is it? Co color switch. And you're this little ball and it changes color and you can only go up through the things. Oh, see, I died already. <laughs> see, my best score is 14. So you have to bounce the ball and when it goes through there, it changes color. So it's purple right. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let me pay attention. I'm looking at the video screen. Okay. So it's purple. So you got to keep the ball bouncing, go up through that particular color. It still stayed purple. And I got to bounce here and go up through the purple. And I got to, you can't touch any other color, but the color that your ball is. And I missed it. So you just got to keep bouncing. And then you get, oh, see, but I touched the stupid circle. Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? It is a rainy old day here in uh, Issaquah, Washington. Um, I'm just on my way to my Weight Watchers meeting. I'm just driving along that top part that I showed you last week up by the stores and stuff. Just heading down the hill and I was going to go to the post office, but I don't know if I have time. Just swing in and see if there's any new mail. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to my meeting and then because today is the third Thursday of the month, our Weight Watchers group has little field trips that they do um, and we go to QFC after our meeting and the produce guy meets up with us and he talks to us about different, I don't know, fruits and vegetables and I guess different ways to cook them and stuff. Yes, car, it's okay. And um, yeah, so we're, we have that, but then Bryn's out of school early today because she's writing exams. She has math and biology this morning, and then she's out, and then of course she's going to want to go straight home so she can study for tomorrow's exams. Um, but then after tomorrow, uh, I'm going to take her to Ikea with me because she's out again early. And um, yeah, so I thought we'd go to Ikea. Tomorrow I'll take you with us and walk through. I'm trying to like hold my phone when I go in because I don't want to take the camera, but I'm trying to hold my phone steady. But when I'm looking at the footage, it's really shaky. So I apologize with that. Um, I'll, t I'll try to get better with that. But um, anyway, so yeah, that's what's going on today. Weight Watchers and my grocery store field trip. <laughs> picking up Bryn. So I think I'll just do some drawing this afternoon because I'm pretty sure she'll have her head in the books studying. And um, yeah. Oh! Once upon a time alarm. Yes, I'm on my way to Weight Watchers. I set so many alarms in a day. <laughs> I guess I just lose track of time. So uh, anyway, 
So yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then tomorrow we'll go to Ikea and do a little field trip there. So I'll be back and let you know how my Weight Watchers weigh-in goes. Oh, I'll swing by. I think I have time. I'll swing by the post office. Hey guys, I got a package from Glendale, Arizona. Thank you very much, whoever you are. I have to um, still look at it um, later when I get back home. So I've hid that in the trunk. And I got uh, a card from Leslie over there in Honolulu, Hawaii. So thank you guys. I gotta open the card and the package when I get home. So I went to my Weight Watchers meeting. It was pretty much what I expected. <laughs> I didn't do that great. Um, I was hoping to lose a pound. I only lost 0.2 of a pound, uh, which is awful. Um, but at least I didn't gain. And um, I knew this was gonna happen though, because we ate out quite a bit um, over the weekend. You know, I figured I'm gonna share this journey with you and every week is not gonna be spectacular. Um, I texted Annette and like she said, really think about it, over two weeks you've lost 4.8 pounds. So if you divide it up like that, and not look at it as you lost a whole bunch one week and not very much the next week. It's a good thing. And then we went to the um, grocery store afterwards and the produce guy showed us some raw vegetables and one of them was beets. I had no idea you could eat raw beets. I didn't know, mom and dad always had them cooked and I wouldn't eat them growing up. I was like, They're, that's disgusting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't try them and I just started eating beets a few years ago and I really like them. Um, so yeah, so I did that. And then a couple girls in my group um, asked me to join the Fitbit challenge with them. So we've got to do our little Fitbits. I got a charge um, Fitbit last week um, at, where did I get it? Best Buy. And the price was higher than Target, but they met tar Target's price and I had a gift card to Best Buy. So, so that worked out well. But um, anyway, so it was a good day. So I'm just gonna go pick up Bryn and um, and then I have to uh, go home and open that package, see what's in there, and, um, and the card from Honolulu. So I'll be back with that in a little while. All right, see ya. Hey guys, I'm back home. Um, I'm just opening my letter here from Honolulu. This is from Leslie. <laughs> oh, cute. But it says, a girl needs friends and shoes. <laughs> cute. It says, friends, well, I look forward to hearing from you, and it says YouTube, and I think of you as a friend. Love you in your videos. Love and aloha. Leslie, cute. Oh, it says a girl needs friends and shoes, but mostly great friends like you. So cute, and she just put a letter in. Oh my gosh, it's like a two-page letter. All right, I'll read some of it. It says, Aloha, Tanya. I'm Leslie from Hawaii and your biggest fan. I sent you a postcard when you were in Bermuda. You posted it and said my name. I was so surprised, excited, and in awe at the same, all at the same time. It's like you are a celebrity and mentioned my name. Me, little old me. I told everyone I knew. They think that I am weird and maybe I am. Anyway, thank you so much for being so gracious. Cute. Uh, she said, anyway, I thought I'd send you an old-fashioned letter. Cute. I'll have to read this. Oh. oh, it says, I also enjoyed the vlogging that you have done with your sister and the Disney World vacation with your friend. Oh, she said Maribel. It's Mariel. As Ari uh, Mariel say, it's Ariel, the mermaid with an M in front of it. Um, aren't having girlfriends the best? Men are weird sometimes and it just feels great to be silly with friends and to just be. It's so true. Oh my god, thank you. I'll have to read through the rest of that. Thank you so much for sending me a letter. Very sweet. Leslie, over in Hawaii. I'll say your name again. <laughs> All right, now we've got this that came from, is it Neela in Glendale, Arizona? Well, I don't, what did you send? It's heavy. Oh my goodness. Guys, postcards. <laughs> don't have to send packages. This is so amazing. All right, let me see what's in here. Better not be a snake. There's snakes in Arizona. Oh my god. <laughs> a 
Okay. <laughs> Do you see what's in this? This is insane. Neela Massey, dear Tanya, I follow you on YouTube and was really enjoying your channel. I was cleaning out my needlepoint closet and thought of you. See what you like and pass on what you don't care for. I was very close to my mother and when you speak of yours, it makes me think of how much I miss my mother. Hope you enjoy your new home in Washington. Look forward to upcoming videos. This is insane. Okay. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. It's, um, holy, <laughs> Bryn was curious. <laughs> Bye, Bryn. She was like, what's in the box? Oh my god. Okay, it's My Treasure's little sewing case. Like, look at this. It's so heavy. <laughs> oh my god. People at my, um, Stitch and Share that I used to go to in Bermuda had these, and I always wanted one. It's a little kit, um, to keep your needles and your scissors and stuff in. That is so cool! Oh my god. Oh, these are adorable. Oh! The, uh, by the Bay Needlepoint. The Tidal River. Look. Oh, it's got all the colors listed. Oh my god, this is insane. Oh my, this is so my style too. I love this. Like folk art kind of. This one's Meadow Hills. Oh! Oh my god. Dad's buzzing. Just one sec. Hello! I'm doing good. I'm going through a video. I'm filming a package that someone sent me. Can I call you right back? Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? You alright? Alright. Yeah, alright. Say hi to say hi to the say hi to the fans. That's true. Hey, your... everybody, how you doing? <laughs> alright, I'll call you I'll call you right back. The old guy. The old guy. It's Don. This is the old guy. <laughs> like, I don't do a hole in one or nothing like that. But. <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you I had a hole in one? No, you never told me. I didn't tell you? You know. Oh my god, it was April 27th. Yeah. <laughs> like 11 minutes after 10. In the morning. No, at night. Oh, I didn't tell you. I didn't specify. Yeah. Oh. It was night golf. <laughs> it was lit up and everything. The ball was lit, but everything else was dark. Yeah. Yeah, I hit my three iron, it went in. I was on hole 13. Hole 13, let me picture that. I know exactly where you're talking about. Do ya? Got a hole in one at night. Why didn't you ever tell me? I, it's really weird, because we've played there before. you think I would have mentioned it. Well, yeah. <laughs> what, what am I the last to know? Or I well, I thought you would have. I I'm sure I would have told you. I don't think it is. <laughs> Some kind of a stinker or something. <laughs> oh good lord! I'll call you back. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, that joke never gets old. Now is this you? There's a photo in here. With this is done. Oh my gosh, did you mean to put the photo in? I will send that back to you if you didn't mean to. But it's someone standing here with the sampler of that one completed. So let me know. 
let me know if that's you. That is a big pattern. Oh my god. And I will send that photo back. I don't want you to be without your photo. Thank you um, for sending me all this. Ne is it Neela? God, I, your card is under here somewhere. <laughs> Where'd you go? Neela, thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'm sorry about your mom too. But it's good to talk about them and it's good to think about them. So yeah, oh my. Anyway, thank you so much. And I will be back tomorrow with um, our field trip. Bryn and I have planned to go to Ikea, so we'll bring you with us. Yeah, I'll be back. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Oh, I gotta call Dad. <laughs> this is completely nuts, but I thought I'd share with you what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm doing the Fitbit challenge with a group from Weight Watchers, and it's whoever gets to 10,000 steps first. So Bryn and I went for a walk earlier, and it's like muddy and gross out and my pants were like dragging on the ground so they got completely wet my feet were wet my sneakers were wet and i still had 2000 steps to go so i've come home changed my clothes put on different sneakers and i'm now walking around the house and let's see where i am on the leaderboard here oh god i'm at i'm in second place there's one woman, she's almost done. She's at 91%, trying to get to 100%, so I'm doing laps around the house. This is so nuts. Come on. <laughs> They're never gonna want me to join the group again. They realize, they don't realize how competitive I am. <sighs> oh my God. <sighs> so, that's my life right now. <gasps> I'm in the lead! I'm in the lead! Hey guys, how you doing? Today is Friday, January 22nd. I'm just outside Bryn's school. She's getting out at 10.30 today because she had um, two exams to write this morning and then they're done. The way they do it is the kids go in, they write two exams and then they're out for the day. They, they're they getting out at 10.30. Scott and I are going out with friends on the weekend at some point um, and I just found out through an email from Scott that we're going to a Mexican restaurant. <gasps> Oh, it's not going to be a good night for Miss Tanya. I have irritable bowel syndrome. And, um, yeah, um, TMI, but I've never thought I've had intestines. <laughs> I just think there's like one tube um, that goes straight down and there's no <laughs> zigzagging of food in my body. Um, so I can't do a lot of foods. I can't do spice like at all so it's just not gonna be a good night for me and I think we're going out after we eat so that's not gonna be good food just stresses me out sometimes and I gotta lose weight oh and get this I'm down two pounds today like nice that's helpful <laughs> but I did all those steps I ended up doing 11,000 steps yesterday so that was good I'm in a challenge again today, but I'm not, I'm not doing well. Um, I'm only at like a thousand steps or something so far. Where am I? Hmm. 
1293 but we'll just have to do laps around Ikea so we'll take you to Ikea with us and we might have lunch there um <laughs> gee Tanya I don't know why you don't lose weight <laughs> stop eating out woman oh <sighs> that's my favorite part of this place the Ikea bug um I always go in the exit because the as is section is here at the beginning or here at the end of the store and you sometimes find a good deal. The Trofast frames, these are the ones that I have in my craft room. Of course they're down to $23.99 now. And these are the different color buckets that you can get. Cool. Just wanted to film these for Phyllis because she's looking at these Calyx things. That's the eight units. So they're just like what I had in my craft room that were standing up. So they're $64.99, but there's ones that are just short, but we'll go up and over there. Just with the two by twos. Here they are there in white. But you can get them in different colors. So they're $34.99, and then you can get the little doors to go in them. So those are 15, and then you can get drawers to go in them too. But we'll go up to the showroom. Here it is in the dark color. It's like the dark, it's like a brownish black color. There you go. Yeah, we'll go up to the uh, showroom. plates. Yeah. All right, Miss Phyllis, here's the calyx section. So they have the drawers. So it's the depth of a DVD case. And then there's the cupboard. So I just screw on to the... So this is the one that I used to have in front of my desk, and then I had the other ones standing up like that. And then there's the little narrow one that I used to keep my record player on. But they've got them in green and pink. Here's the dark wood. And then the light, and then it's in white. And then you can get the doors in all the different colors and stuff too. So they're white on the inside. And then you can buy legs. Beep beep. Sorry. Beep beep. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. No. <laughs> and then they have legs that you can put on them. Where are the legs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen them somewhere. Mm. I just want to show you guys these lights. They're so cool. 
you pull the string and they close and then they open how cool is that here pull it so I can see from far away gentle <laughs> those are so cool how much is that one 69 yeah so neat